Hi everyone, it's Dave for Pro Tools Answers. Avid did us a bit of a solid today and released a new version of the Avid Complete Collection um, specifically to work with Monterey uh, 12.3 and therefore making Pro Tools or bringing Pro Tools uh, a lot closer to being compatible with the operating system. Now, what I've found over the last couple of months is that, that Pro Tools actually runs really nicely under Monterey. I've uh, been using it lightly, uh, mainly for for teaching and doing some light stuff because obviously I can't do uh, anything massive in it because a lot of the the complete collection I like well I say not a lot of the complete collection I like using elements of the complete collection in most of my work um, so it's, it's always knocked Monterey out uh, as an option um, but now things are uh, we're a little bit closer thankfully um, so I just wanted to show you that one uh, we finally have if I just load up Pro Compressor right here, Pro Compressor is one of my favorite plugins um, in the complete collection. And we can see that it's finally running uh, under Monterey, which is great. But there's a couple of complexities uh, that I think everyone should be aware of. <clears throat> now, I tried installing the complete collection from uh, Avid Link. Uh, you know, typically going to download the complete plugin bundle. Uh, but what I was finding that it was still erroring out, it wasn't allowing uh, Pro Tools to load without, uh, well, it wasn't allowing Pro Tools to load with these plugins in. But if you head over to avid.com and go to your products area, you'll find the complete collection uh, plugins all listed separately here. And it's the 2022.2 versions that you need to specifically look for. It's a bit of a pain that, that I can't seem to find a complete bundle so I can install them all with one installer. Um, I have to do them all individually. Uh, so if I take Pro Expander, Awesome stuff. Uh, let's move that to the bin. We'll close Pro Tools down so that it rescans the plugin. And then we'll boot it back up. And it's bringing up this because I've, these are all the plugins that I installed from the, the package bundle. And it's asking me if I want to move them to the, uh, the, the unused plugin folder. We can see that Pro Compressor isn't in there. We can see that Pro Expander isn't in there. So we know that it has loaded those two. So what it's worth doing, if you've got these in your plugin folder currently, it's worth getting those into the unused folder. Um, clicking yes, move those plugins out of the main AAX folder into the unused folder. Pro Tools will load as normal. Um, and then you can install the plugins individually, the ones that you want to use. And then Pro Tools should run quite nicely. So let's just see Pro Expander appear magically. Because we're a full service channel, we want to show you that it's working. There you go, Pro Expander finally in there. Uh, the next plugin I'm going to be installing is Space. Um, I recommend you guys uh, go and download your versions of the key, the, the complete collection plugin. Crack on with Monterey. Um, I, as I said, thank you for Avid for bringing just bringing us just that one little bit closer uh, to having Monterey compatibility. I, I don't think the full app. Uh, compatibility will be far away, but at, at least this is what we've got for now. We can use a lot of the stuff that we've been using regularly. Um, and I think I could probably finally uh, move over to Monterey wholesale and I'll let you know how that goes. Take it easy, everyone.